Hey there, fellow Star Wars fans! Today, we're diving headfirst into the heart of the Force as we embark on a journey through the stars, exploring the very best that the Star Wars universe has to offer on the small screen. From epic battles in a galaxy at war to the quiet moments of reflection in between, we're going to rank and dissect the Star Wars TV shows that have captured our imaginations, ignited our lightsabers, and kept us glued to our screens. Whether you're a Jedi Master, a Sith Lord, or just a casual fan, this is the ultimate guide to the best and brightest Star Wars series that have graced our screens. So grab your blasters, ignite your lightsabers, and let's take the hyperdrive to the top as we rank the Star Wars TV shows. Number 7. The Book of Boba Fett This show's storyline was lackluster. It seemed to wander aimlessly, lacking the depth and intrigue that many other Star Wars shows have successfully delivered. The plot meandered without a clear sense of direction, and it often felt like it was struggling to find its footing. Then there's Boba Fett himself. As an iconic character in the Star Wars universe, I was hoping for a more compelling and dynamic portrayal. Instead, we got a Boba Fett who was oddly passive at times, failing to live up to the fearsome reputation he had built throughout the original trilogy. His character arc felt stagnant, and we didn't get the depth of character development that I was expecting. Let's not also forget about the underutilization of some characters like Cade Bane and Kur Santan, who brought a spark of excitement to the show. But these characters ended up being underdeveloped, which was a missed opportunity. The Book of Boba Fett felt like a show that was coasting on the popularity of its titular character without putting in the effort to tell a truly compelling story, which leads to its ranking at the bottom of my list. Number 6, Mandalorian Season 3. The third season of The Mandalorian left me underwhelmed. While the series had set a high bar with its previous seasons, this particular installment fell short. The introduction of new characters and storylines felt somewhat disjointed, and at times it was hard to see how they fit into the overarching narrative. This disjointedness detracted from the cohesive storytelling that had been a hallmark of the series. Additionally, the pacing in season three seemed a bit off. Some episodes felt rushed, while others dragged on, which created an uneven viewing experience. I found myself longing for the tight, well-crafted storytelling that had initially drawn me into the show in the first place. Mandalorian Season 3 lands at the sixth spot on my list of Star Wars TV shows due to its disjointed storytelling and lack of a cohesive overarching narrative. Number 5, Obi-Wan Kenobi. This series brought back Ewan McGregor to reprise his iconic role. Kenobi delved deep into the emotional impact of the tragic history and complex relationship between Obi-Wan and Anakin. The show allowed us to witness Obi-Wan's internal struggle and the guilt he carried for not being able to prevent Anakin's fall to the dark side. The series also provided a unique opportunity to see glimpses of Anakin's transformation into Darth Vader and the early days of his dark apprenticeship under Emperor Palpatine. This added depth to the character and allowed viewers to understand the tragic path he had taken. While the show had the potential for greatness, it ultimately didn't live up to the hype. One of the glaring issues in this show was the chase scene through the woods. This scene felt like it would have been better placed in an episode of Tom and Jerry. Another aspect that left much to be desired was the writing for Reva. In this story, Reva's character felt one-dimensional and unnecessary. The show also suffered from uneven pacing that led to moments of slow development, causing the story to lose some of its momentum, which resulted in it being ranked fifth on my list of Star Wars TV shows. Number four, The Mandalorian Season 1. This season rekindled the magic of the original Star Wars trilogy. It's a nostalgic journey that brings us back to the Western-inspired adventures that George Lucas originally envisioned for Star Wars. The show encapsulates the gritty, frontier-like feel that fans fell in love with in A New Hope. From its iconic lone gunslinger protagonist to the scoundrels, aliens, and outlaws, it truly captures the essence of Star Wars, taking us back to the roots of the franchise. What sets the Mandalorian apart is its character development. From the enigmatic and silent Mandalorian to the adorable and unforgettable baby Yoda, their journeys, interactions, and moral dilemmas have made this series much more than just another sci-fi show. In the Star Wars universe, we've always been drawn to morally ambiguous characters. The Mandalorian season, one introduces us to such characters. They're neither wholly good nor wholly bad. They're navigating a morally complex galaxy. This thematic depth adds layers to the show, 
allowing us to see the shades of gray within a universe often dominated by the black and white of the Force. The Mandalorian Season 1 is a story of redemption, self-discovery, and the bonds that form between unlikely allies. We are presented with intriguing mysteries, unexpected alliances, and shocking revelations that keep us hooked episode after episode, which lead to Mandalorian Season 1 coming in at fourth place on my rankings of Star Wars TV shows. Number 3. Ahsoka. One of the most compelling aspects of Ahsoka is how it continues the story of Anakin and Ahsoka. Their complicated relationship and eventual separation are emotionally charged, and Ahsoka allows us to see how this relationship impacts both characters after Order 66. Ahsoka's pursuit of justice and her ongoing connection to Anakin's past creates a sense of nostalgia and emotional depth that resonates with fans of the prequel trilogy like myself. Ahsoka seamlessly weaves the narratives of Star Wars Rebels into its own storyline in a way that feels organic and satisfying. This show also introduces us to the character of Balin, who is wonderfully portrayed by the late Ray Stevenson. Balin brings a great sense of intrigue to the series, as he is a very compelling character with his own fresh perspectives that will more than likely be an important part of the future seasons to come. This show also gives us our first little glimpse at the first live-action portrayal of Grand Admiral Thrawn. His presence promises complex strategic battles and a formidable adversary for Ahsoka for many seasons to come. Ahsoka ranks as the third best Star Wars TV show due to its compelling character development, seamless integration of previous animated series like The Clone Wars and Rebels, and the addition of intriguing new characters like Balin, all of which contribute to a rich and engaging storytelling experience. Number 2. Mandalorian Season 2. Season 2 delivered an awe-inspiring dose of nostalgia and reverence for the original Star Wars trilogy. We were treated to unforgettable encounters with iconic characters from that era, including the return of Boba Fett, the appearance of Ahsoka Tano, and a brief but monumental moment with Luke Skywalker. These appearances not only provided thrilling fan service, but also managed to seamlessly connect the series with the larger Star Wars canon. The second season also built upon the foundational character development of Din Djarin, our enigmatic and steadfast Mandalorian. We saw him face not only external threats, but also internal struggles, as he grappled with his adherence to the Mandalorian creed and his growing attachment to the adorable baby Yoda. This internal conflict added a layer of depth and complexity to his character, making him one of the most intriguing figures in the Star Wars universe. The storytelling was a true highlight of this season, blending a perfect mix of episodic adventures with an overarching narrative that kept us eagerly anticipating each new installment. The development of the Darksaber plotline, the revelation of Baby Yoda's backstory, and the deepening of the Mandalorian's connection to his creed all contributed to a narrative that was both thrilling and emotionally resonant, resulting in this show being ranked second on my ranking of Star Wars TV shows. Number 1, Andor. First and foremost, Andor has given us the gift of a complex and deeply compelling lead character in Cassian Andor. Played by the talented Diego Luna, Cassian brings a level of nuance and realism to the Star Wars universe that is truly unparalleled. His character is morally gray, a character who lives in the shadows of the galaxy, making tough choices for the Rebel Alliance. This moral ambiguity allows us to explore the shades of gray in the Star Wars universe, emphasizing that not all heroes are without their flaws and not all villains are devoid of a conscience. The series also delves into the darker, grittier side of the Star Wars universe. It's a window into the espionage, subterfuge, and morally challenging decisions that were integral to the Rebel Alliance's struggle against the Galactic Empire. Andor doesn't shy away from showing us the sacrifices, both personal and moral, that these heroes had to make in their fight for freedom. Which leads to Andor finding itself atop of my rankings of live-action Star Wars TV shows. Thanks for watching and subscribe.